So here we are at the Portsmouth port, we are just about to uh, embark onto the boat and then uh, we're heading to Cannes, so tomorrow morning we're going to nip into Pegasus Bridge just before we set off south and we'll just uh, get our pictures taken next to the bridge so we were there last year but we'll do that again uh, tomorrow morning so there we go As you can see, we're at Pegasus Bridge. Uh, we're just behind the museum just now, we're parked up. Got a brew on, we've just come off the boat. I can see the famous cafe over there. Uh, we're not gonna stay till it, till it opens. Well, it'll be shut when we leave here. So we're just gonna head on south from here. But here we are, just getting a brew on before we set off on our journey with a, an overnight trip on. The, <laughs> look, at, look at Mark, Mark and Moe there, look. Like a couple of Egypts. Uh, uh, aye, aye, it's going to be done, mate. It's going to be done, isn't it? So I'll just get the jet boils going. We're going to fill some flasks up and uh, get on the road. So there we go. Here we've got the guys getting ready. But what a, what a nice setting for the morning, eh? So there's a Liberty Boutique over there as well. I forgot that one. Uh, yeah, great, great stuff. We love being here. This is a fantastic place. So uh, there we go. If you've never been here before, get over to Pegasus Bridge. this morning with uh, the team at a place called Bran and is it Charent Maritime and I'm here with Bones, Bones Bartlett who's Good morning. who's ex-Navy or Sheffield in the Falklands and uh, those that know, know to get battered. So here we are, Bones is going to take us in and have a look at this place. It's a beautiful little area, we, we had a little bit of problem finding it yesterday, Bones had to come and get us but look at this. This is living the life, isn't it? Uh, Bones is putting a, a jeet over the back there, you can just see the top of the jeet. Going to be a swimming pool here. And we're in the front garden. But there's a garden there. There's also a big garden around the back. A little pond over the other side. Yeah. And we're camped in the garden here. Just ready to have our breakfast. We had a, we had a couple of beers last night with Bones. And Tony, who's ex-Royal Marine from the Falklands. And we had a good night, didn't we? We did. Bloody good night. It well, was, uh, we really appreciate you putting us up, mate. This this makes the journey huge for the guys, like, you know, like, uh, for them, just for somebody to put them up, fantastic, like. And I had a good dos last night up my wee tent up there. <laughs> uh, because we're at a bit of slope, we get some daddy cuddles going on last night. But here we are. Look at this. Look at the countryside. We were woken up this morning with two cockerels, one over in that direction over here, and one behind us over there having a wee fight with each other, see who's the toughest. But uh, it was all good. Owls hooting, just it was great. We woke up to just the noise of the country and peace. And that's what this is all about. So I'd like to thank 
Bones here and Liz, his wife, are putting us up. Uh, they couldn't be any more hospitable if they tried. And that's what this is all about. Uh, just giving a wee bit back, I told It is. Yeah. So, Bones, we appreciate it, mate. Uh, very, very thank you very welcome. much, mate. And very welcome. We hope they can uh, come back and see you in the future as well, because this is just ideal, isn't it? Always welcome. What a countryside it is. What was that stuff we tried last night? Uh, Pinu. Pinu. That was all right, wasn't it? Was what was that other stuff? That was that rum stuff. That was uh, called. That's Puss's rum. That was. Yeah. Uh, like just so, just so nobody thinks we didn't get bevy last night. We had a couple of beers and a, a chin wag round. Uh, Liz and Bones also put on steak, sausage, salad, which we cooked over in the bar over there. And I have to say, they were top notch. You know, so all good, all good, and we're ready. Just getting ready for this morning. Get the cooker set up. We're going to have uh, some omelets this morning. Hot water's on. Shower's out. Uh, have you seen a shower over here? We've not got the shower going this morning. I just had a douche and a bucket this morning. Mariners you, you That's the one, mate. So a little shower in there. You can see the hot water coming up. With... <laughs> There's George having his little washed in this morning. But it's, I'll tell you what, it's ideal. Ideal. It, it wakes you up first thing in the morning. It's brilliant. Billy's on jet boil duty this morning. He's getting all the hot water for brews and stuff. And that's us. All good. Mark's trying to work out how you take a table down. As so we know, Mark's not. So Mark's. So I don't know how he was in the engineers myself, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you cooking? Uh, we're having an omelet with uh, wraps this morning. Uh, we got this pan from Bev and Greg. We lost a big frying pan, but we're going to try this out on the expedition because we think this is pretty good. But, uh, that's all we have. So all we got in here is better. Of the eggs, and we'll tell you guys uh, eggs, milk, and salt and pepper. Ooh, Mr. Chef, I there. think my hang out for this, I think maybe the pan is a little bit thin, it's very hot, very quick. Yeah, I just noticed it's thicken. No, it was, it's come on, you've got to move it all the time. And all you do is bring the cubs into the middle until you get a scrambled egg. It's like doing a cookery show, isn't it? Aye. <laughs> Because I'm well, recording it. <laughs> I, mean, I could do a Keith Floyd, like, get me a glass of wine, I'll be alright, eh? Pounds? Well, that's quite your wine. <laughs> uh, we're in the right area for the wine, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't get a better area than this for wine. No, mate. No. You'd be bugger if you don't like wine, though, eh? Uh, like me. <laughs> we're just almost packed up, and uh, first parades, most important thing when we're out with vehicles. Last parades and first parades. So, when we're using diesel vehicles, we use Obviously they've got turbos in them. The most important thing we do is when we stop the vehicles is to let the turbos wind down. So we, we don't switch off the engine straight away. We let the turbo wind down uh, and uh, get some oil through it before we actually switch off the engine. Then when we get to camp, while the camp's being set up, we have last parades. Uh, so we check all the oils, filters, everything, lights, uh, all that, all the fluids. And then we do the same thing in the morning because things can change overnight. There may be an oil leak somewhere, we drop some oil. So it's important that we do both. So George, uh, Duncan and Jay are in charge of making sure it's done. Doesn't mean they do it every day. Uh, the idea is everybody does first and last parades. Uh, but it's important that they are all done uh, so we can continue moving. It's something, if you've been in the military, that you should be used to doing anyway. So it's no great deal uh, hassle, like, and it's a five minute job if you've done right. Uh, so that's where we are right now. So we're almost packed up and ready to go. We'll do some route planning in a minute, and then we're gone. And there's Duncan with his jack shit shut. Jack shit on tour. Uh, and we're meeting Dave today, stopping at Butchers, everybody wanted to talk to us, uh, take their emails, addresses, and uh, Dave, a French guy, came up to us and he actually invited us to come and stay at his house uh, next time we're passing by. Just really stunning reaction to what we're doing. And all 
hopes that this makes the guys feel really special. Right, so here we are. If I'm honest, I don't really know where we are. But in the arse end of now. <laughs> uh, we're in a, a wee road. Look at this road, straight as a die. Here we are. And it's there's nothing on the road whatsoever. There's off-road trails either side of us. We've just stopped for some lunch. Uh, so we've just been to a fishery this morning. And uh, we got some nice uh, salami and some nice cheese from the, uh, the, the other store. So we're all looking good, so have a look in here, so there we are, we're having wraps today, uh, look at the salami and look at this lovely cheese, you know like, uh, it's all looking good. What's this, uh, can I, what's, what's that meat? It's called meat roast, he's in Germany, it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not it looks like labour roast doesn't it? Yeah, so all good, so brews are on and scoffs on, sauces with them, so it's all good. So, and Bill is eating a croissant because he doesn't eat what the normal people eat. I do. When you drive on motorways, you miss the countryside and roads like where we're on the now. We've been driving what, for, I don't know, eight miles on this road maybe? Yeah. We haven't seen another car yet. And in between that, we had lunch for about half an hour, 40 minutes. Never seen another car. For us, this is what it's all about. Get off the main roads. See the country you're in, fantastic. You know, like uh, it's just there's off road tracks all around here, which we may be exploring a later visit. Uh, all into the woods, uh, all quite sandy. Uh, we're heading towards the coast in Biarritz, and then we're just going south of there to San Juan de Luz. Uh, just stunning countryside. Uh, you need to get out and experience it. It's been a long time since me and Billy's been here to Bayonne. We came as a family holiday one time, 17 years ago. Um, vast region of, uh, of France. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Thinking of getting some new vehicles for VIA. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> one of the wee electric buses. <laughs> we're just parked up. We're on the border of Spain that, and France. We're on the French side. <laughs> uh, just in a place called Saint Jean de Luz. And uh, tomorrow morning we are going to cross over the border. So we've just set up camp here on the campsite tonight. Uh, we've got scoff on. So we've been here about 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe. I've written set up. <laughs> I know this might not look pretty, but it's corned beef hash. No, mate, it's and not. I like it's it. puke. I'm cooking puke. Corned beef hash. Thanks, Teresa. You've uh, done an amazing job. Yeah. I'm cooking puke. That's not what, that's not what Greg said a minute ago, Teresa. That, that's why but, I'm cooking uh, puke. There we go. So that's our scoff for tonight. Corn dog with baguettes. Why do we call it corn dog? I still don't know. Corn dog. Corn well, I don't know. I, I know when we used to say it and when we were in Belize, they used to think we actually ate dog. Hey, dog, yeah. Alright, yeah, cool. And it's St. John de Luz, is it? Taking you a stage further than your foot drill. I'm now going to teach you the left turn at the halt. <laughs> the reason this movement is taught to enable you as an individual or a body I mean, to turn through an angle of 90 degrees in a smart uniform soldier-like manner. In other words, Mo, can you put that seat up? <laughs> sure. <laughs>